Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Loha here with the third topic of uh, ACL. In our previous video, we have uh, already discussed about what is ACL. ACL is an IP packet filtering tool which filters an IP packet on the basis of IP header and it's a firewall technique of router. And we have also discussed about different type of ACL and the first type was standard ACL. Standard ACL is an IP packet filtering tool which filters an IP packet only on the basis of source ad address of the packet and take a decision whether it has to permit or deny. And further, we have already discussed about uh, extended ACL, which is a method of IP packet filtering, which not only verify the source address of the packet, but it also use source, destination, port, protocol and some uh, other upper layer uh, protocol and further take a decision whether it has to permit or deny according to the rule we have created. So in this third part of ACL, we are going to discuss about named ACL. So named ACL is not another type of creating ACL rule, but it is a method of creating standard or extended ACL rule by name instead of number. Because creating ACL rule using name is very difficult to remember. So the new technology of creating ACL rule was developed that is named ACL. In this method, we are not going to assign uh, ACL number, but we will use name indeed. So in our previous video, we have discussed that when the ACL number varies from 1 to 99, router will assume that rule as a standard ACL rule and, and it will verify all the packets source address and verify whether it has to permit or deny. And further, we have used extended ACL in which uh, the ACL number was very uh, ACL number varies from 100 to 199 and whenever we create a rule with this number router will examine source destination port protocol and some other uh, upper layer service and further it will take a decision whether it has to permit or, de or deny according to the rule we have created. So in this session we are going to create ACL rule using name instead of number. So I have same lab here as you can see here uh, uh, we are using same lab. Uh, you have a remote network here, you have a server group and you have a local area network and we have already configured all the initial setup like uh, we have configured IP address for the computer, we have configured uh, interface for the router, we have applied protocol for the router, we have configured our DNS web server and FTP server in our previous video for the extended ACL. So I am not going to uh, take much time to configure uh, other setup but we will directly apply named ACL in this session. So what we have to do here is we have some situation we have uh, to deny 192.168.0.2 to ping 192.168.168.3. This is the source address and this one is the destination address. This, this computer is having IP address of 192.168.0.2 and our web server is having IP address of 192.168.168.3. So according to named ACL, we have to create a ACL rule and ACL rule which will prevent this computer to ping this server. So we have already seen our uh, ACL rule method using extended how we will create the same rule. In extended ACL, we used command like uh, access list 110 deny ICMP for host 192.168.0.2 and to host 192.168.168.3 using echo request. So this command is used to deny ICMP to send any echo request to this sub, this computer to this server. And further, we used access list 110 permit any any permit ICMP any any it will allow other computer to send ICMP request and further we used ICMP uh, access list 110 permit other TCP and uh, any any and and again all the UDP protocol is allowed to access from any source to any destination and how it looks like like so access list it will show you like this. So I am going to create same rule using named method. So what we have to do here is configure terminal IP access list is the command for creating named ACL 
and once I type here a question mark, I will see that there are other two options to whether I want to create extended rule or I want to create a standard rule. So, for this scenario or for this uh, situation, we have to define source and destination both as well as the protocol. So, I will use extended and name is ICMP underscore deny whatever name you can use here which you can remember like I am creating a, an extended ACL rule by name and the name is ICMP underscore deny. So what we have to do here is like we used this command for creating extended ACL rule. So you just have to remember this thing you are going to type this com much command only for the named ACL once you use named ACL. So, as you can see here, we have a prompt router 6 config extended ext is the extended and named ACL and what next we have to do here is you can even you can uh, remark uh, write some remark here like remark to restrict ICMP whatever remark you can use here and now I am going to configure the further like uh, which host, which protocol, whether it has to permit or deny, uh, which protocol from which computer and to which computer using what kind of request. So, I am going to configure here like deny ICMP host 192.168.168. Sorry, 168.0.2 to host 192.168.168. 168.3 using echo and now if you verify this line here this is the same line we used with extended ACL rule after the ACL number and this is the same one. So, further we used to permit other access list 110 permit ICMP any any and we will permit ICMP any any and we will permit TCP any any and further we will use UDP any any so that other user can send ICMP request to any source to any destination as well as any TCP and UDP request to any source from any destination. So, what we have to do here is now verify the both rule once we have created extended ACL rule by number and further we have created uh, named ACL for the same reason same purpose and let us see how does that looks like so access list and now if you verify the both rule are same just extended IP access list is 110 this is the, uh, the ACL we used using extended ACL method and now we have created another rule with the number with the name instead of number and they looks like same like deny ICMP host 192.160.2 host 192.168.168.3 echo and this is also the same one deny ICMP host 192.160.2 host 192.168.3 echo request and further we have permitted our ICMP protocol for any source to any destination and we uh, even there is two and now TCP and further UDP and here is the TCP and UDP. So, how to apply this rule on interface? Let us configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. I am going to configure this uh, rule on same interface that is here that is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and before applying let us verify if we are accessing the server like I am pinging 192.168.168.3 and I must get reply from that because we have not applied uh, the new rule on interface. So, I am getting reply and even I will verify whether I am getting the web service www.study.com. We must get our web page here. Yes, we are getting our web page we have created in earlier video. 
and again let's verify with the IP address like 192.168.168.3 is the IP address of our web server yes we are getting web page so what next we have to do here is we will have to apply this ICMP underscore deny rule on interface so that uh, it can be applied for the computer so before applying just go to your configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 which is the interface where i am going to apply this rule here like uh, at this point but before applying i would like to verify whether we are accessing the server as you can see here i am getting reply from 192.168.168.3 as well as i am accessing study.com web service with uh, name as well as with the uh, ip address Yes, we are accessing all thing here. So once I apply the rule IP access group ICMP underscore deny to out. Once I have applied this rule, this computer must be restricted to ping 192.168.168.3. So as you can see here, we are getting destination host unreachable reply from this IP address that is the IP address of your router serial interface. So I am not able to ping web server using this computer but let us verify from this one. We have restricted only IP address 2. So this computer which is having IP address 192.168.0.3 must be pinging and we are getting reply. So this computer is able to ping this server but this computer is restric restricted to access the web server using ICMP protocol. So, this is the method. Now, we verify. So, access list you can see here we have applied, we have created this rule, but have not applied at any interface. But we have created this rule and we have applied this rule, and this rule is preventing this computer to pinging for pinging this server. And if you verify so running configuration you will see that the fast ethernet 0 by 0 fast ethernet 0 by 0 here it is is enabled with access list icmp deny out and now here is the first one is completed so what the next thing we have to do here is deny 192.168.0.3 to access web service from this so this is the source address and this one is the destination address again and this computer must be restricted to access web service but other like this one this other server uh, can this other computer can access the web server like this computer is not able to ping but let's verify if it, it's accessing web service Yes, we are getting web service which is restricted for ping but uh, this computer is right now accessing your web server as well as uh, can ping your server but we have to restrict this server to access web server be able to ping your server. So what we have to do here is we'll have to create a rule for this server like I'm going to create another rule here. So configure terminal interface uh, sorry access list ip access we are going to create a named acl like ip access list ww extended standard www underscore deny so i am going to create this rule here the name of my rule is ww underscore deny so so that i can remember it very properly what next we have to do here is i have to deny deny tcp host 192.168.0.3 which is the source address host 192.168.168.3 which is the destination address with the service www so i have created a rule for tcp so i'll have to create another same rule for the udp udp and we can use www or port number for the web server like 80 and because we have created deny rule we will have to create a permit rule permit icmp any any permit 
TCP any any permit UDP any any so that other computer can ping as well as can send TCP request or any other UDP request. So, we have configured our ACL and now what I have to do here is interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 I am going to apply but before verify if the service is accessible before applying rule. Yes, we are getting web page here and let us try with IP. Yes, we are getting here our web page. So, what we have to do here is just apply the rule command IP access group www underscore deny was the name of our rule and I would like to apply it for the outer interface. So, what I have to do here is now let us verify if this server is this computer is accessing web service 168.3. As you can see here, I am not accessing my web page now. I am trying with the IP address to. No, I am not accessing web page. But let us verify if I can ping the server. As you can see here, I can ping the server, but I am not able to access web page. But, but this computer can access your web page like www.study.com as well as 192.168.168.3 we are getting our web page so what next even this is done now so what next we have to do here is the third one is deny 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network to access ftp server here is our ftp server and let's verify if we are using our ftp server so, what we have to do here is type ftp 192.168.168.4 is the IP address of our ftp server and once I type the server name it asking for login name and Cisco is the login name and password is also Cisco and now I can list the content of ftp server which is this one. So, let us uh, see the ftp server as you can see here we have all content here and I have to restrict every computer of this network to access FTP server but entire network of remote computer can access your FTP server. So, I will have to create rule for this one. So, what next I have to do here is I will have to create access IP access list IP access list FTP underscore deny sorry extended I will have to define here extended FTP underscore deny and now deny TCP source address will be 192.168.10.0 network and we will have to define wildcard for the entire network we have already discussed about calculating wildcard in our first session of ACL and now we will have to define destination and the destination is host for a single computer you can use option host but for defining entire network or subnet you will have to define uh, wildcard number so I am going to define here a particular server IP address with the host option 168.4 using equal to 21 number port and further because we are creating TCP rule we will have to define UDP rule too ok and because we have created deny rule we will have to permit rule uh, permit TCP TCP any any permit permit sorry permit UDP any any ok and further if you want to apply uh, allow ICMP request for all source and destination you can use ICMP any any. So, 
if we verify the rule now so access list this is the method we used with the number this is the method with the name and further we have created rule here and now we have created ftp underscore deny rule we will have to apply it so now this entire network is accessing your web server but once i apply the rule then fast ethernet 0 slash 0 the entire network will be will not be able to access your ftp server so ip access group ftp underscore deny for out and now if we verify if we are we have already accessed the server and now ping the server first for i am pinging ftp server but let's verify if i am accessing ftp service 192.168.168.4 as you can see here trying to connect with the ftp server and again i'm getting error message that request time is out now and disconnecting from ftp server but let's verify with other two because we have applied this rule for entire network so let's verify this computer can access like it can ping dot four yes this computer can ping but let's verify the ftp service no even this computer is not able to access your ftp server but entire network of this section should access your ftp server so let's verify it ftp 192.168.168.4 and we are getting our login and even i can list all the content of ftp server now try with other one ftp 192.168.168.4 and we are getting login name here it means we are connecting so entire remote network is able to access your ftp server but your local network which is with the network id 192.168.10.0 slash 24 is not accessible to ftp server so even this condition is fulfilled so guys as you can see here uh, applying acl rule using name is a very easy method of applying uh, of creating acl rule you can use this one in your practical lab session and i hope uh, you have got a better concept about uh, named acl in this session if you like this video please keep watching and do share with a friend and of course don't forget to subscribe with our channel for the further topic uh, till next video bye bye